Hey, hey, happy Wednesday. I am your host, Colleen, and this is my co-host, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And as you guys know, this is the CJ Show. Um, so we'll just wait a sec, see who's going to hop on, and we'll talk about some good stuff today. All about content today. Yes, content and different styles of content, different kinds of content, and a lot of people aren't aware of so. Yep. So we'll just get it. Hey, did you get into triple digits at all with the weather? I uh, I don't know if we have yet. I know yeah. it's supposed to get up to 99 today. I was out for a little bit this morning with my dog, but. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah. End of pushing. Uh, and it's pushing. only April. Yeah. Yep. So That's it gets crazy. hot down here where people don't realize they, how far, how big Texas is. Yeah. Is. I mean, I'm a good way. I'm seven hours south of Dallas. Okay. So oh, wow. It gets warm. Yeah. Yeah, you're like right there. Oof. That's rough. That's rough. Yep. All right. Well, um, so today is going to be about the styles of content that we're going to be talking about. But before we get into that, um, today or, well, Friday will be giving away um, our lead magnet, right? Is that what we agreed on? Lead magnet? Yeah, we're a yeah. uh, copywriter today. We'll create a lead magnet for the this week's winner. Yep. So if you guys um, comment when you jump on, just say hi. That's simple as that. But, you know, we love if you guys would interact with us, ask any questions. You could just like the video or you can share it. Um, cause that'll get you into the drawing of who's going to be winning that on Friday. So, um, if anybody doesn't know what that is, we'll be going into that a little bit into the show. Um, we'll talk, you know, briefly about it, but Friday will be all about that. So whoever the lucky winner is, I hope you're going to, you know, join us for that because it'll be, you know, telling you everything about it. Um, but like we said, today is going to be about the types of content that we write at Copywriter Today. And normally people just think, you know, we write blogs or we just write articles, but um, we write so much more than that. We, you know, cover basically any topic that you would need us to. Um, so we'll, we'll just name off just a few that we do aside from articles or blogs. You want to start that off there, Jeff? Yeah, yeah. We uh, Today we're going to discuss a little bit about what's referred to as white papers um, we're, we will talk a little bit about what a press release is, uh, the content used at, on a lot, the content used on a landing page, and also the importance of the content you use within your emails for uh, email sequence or just any email. Mm -hmm. so. You want to? Uh... Well then, yeah. Let's just let's just uh, start talking about the the lead magnet since that's going to be what we're going to be giving away. And anybody that you know catches us in the beginning of the show or stays on for the whole show, they can um, you know comment if that is an interest to them. You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Uh, a lead ma a lead magnet is something you use to increase your sales and what it. What it normally will be is some kind of PDF file or document, such as a checklist, or, you know, an authoritative article or a quick video, something that's going to have a lot of value to the person reading it. Mm -hmm. And it's normally something you're just give away in exchange for their email address. And then you have your email address to add to your list and um, you know if it doesn't lead to a sale right away maybe future in the future or later on down the road by keeping in contact with them that'll happen yeah or even if it's you know not going to be a good fit for them to work with you I mean just just the generosity of using the lead magnets itself is already going to get you to at least talk about or at least have the person talk about you you know 
Yeah, and and you, you can also uh, you can also use like ebooks. Ebooks are very simple to create, um, or or reports for a specific industry, or you want it to pertain around what that business is or what a person is looking to do. It, it's just anything helpful to them that you're willing to give away. There ha- there has to be some value to it. Mm-hmm. Something you're giving away for free for exchange for an email address. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I mean, that's super important, especially when you're trying to build. Obviously, it's called a lead magnet. So you're trying to build, you know, all your leads and all your lists because, you know, sometimes it might not be um, effective if you get a purchase list sometimes they're bad or you just don't know where to find one so that is obviously an easy way to do some prospecting for your sales yep 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 and it uh it, it's something that's starting to become pretty common especially you know what especially if you watch our show friday and find out a lot more detail about it social media and through emails you get that you have no idea what's going on once you find that once you watch friday show you'll be uh, more aware of just how common these are used yeah definitely um and then since we're talking about you know getting emails and um using that to reach out to people as well so we also um provide email content for people and um, it's it's not as simple as just, you know, writing up a, a generic um, email blast that you'd be sending out. Um, it's obviously going to be more effective and um, obviously it's going to if it's going to be written effectively, you're going to be using that for your email blasts. But um, it's not going to just be something generic and something that, you know, you might get opens on, but you might not get responses. Um, it's going to be you know, something that's going to be intriguing and it's off it, we're going to, you know, be providing you with also a subject line as well, which is very important because that kind of leads to if, um, you know, the person's going to be opening that email or not. Correct. And, uh, there, there's so much that's done with email. Um, we all know how important it is, but we don't really know why. And uh, yeah. with Copywriter Day, we, we've done a lot of study and research to create the most effective email content. Rather, you're just looking for one email to send out to a mass quantity of people or you're put, wanting to build an email sequence of, you know, four, five, six, seven. Uh, you you want to... I'm normally not a real big copy and paste fan, but sometimes with email, you you have so I you want your email to be as effective as possible without it seeming like there's no personal touch to it. Yeah, definitely. So that that group, if you're not if you're not good with words and you don't have the skills of a professional writer, it, it can be a lot trickier Mm -hmm. I agree and like and like you said you have to add that personal touch and you know when people are in a hurry and they want to get those emails out they want to get those responses they want to get the opens um, because even if people open it and they don't respond it's better to know that because then you know what you should be um you know, what you should be working on. Obviously your subject line is good because they're opening it, but maybe the, the content that is in your actual email isn't really, you know, working for you. So it's always, it's always effective to get those opens. Um, but you know, you're just going to have to reach a little further. And, and like you said, you know, copy and pasting is easy, but is it, is it, you know, personable to that person? Exactly. And making it personal isn't just simply adding their name. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. If you get enough emails, you can almost tell what's what's a mass mass used email and what's original. But yeah. uh, I think I, I read somewhere, or maybe gay member, but the average person within two sentences 
will know if they're going to continue reading an email or they're going to hit. And so it, it will open your email. There's a lot that goes into it, especially if you're wanting to have success with email marketing. Um, email can be very effective regardless of the type of industry or business you're in. You just have yeah. to have the content in your email that works for you. Mm -hmm. For once, this doesn't have to do with demographics. So this is just, you know, everyone. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Um, they can read. They got to be able yeah. to read. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and you got you to gotta give it some time, too, because you might be getting opens, but it, it also depends on when you're sending it. Um, and you want you want to take some time to see, you know, maybe a week or two and see when they're opening it and you know you also have to take in consideration like it might not just be you it might be um you know if they open it and forget to respond or they just open it just because you know they're weird like me and they don't like to have notifications or anything along those lines and then they just kind of you know slip out and forget so it's all it's always important to be sending those follow-ups as well so yep. um, um a lot of people forget about that and then you know, like we like we said, it has to be personable. It has to be um, an effective way to communicate with uh, leads or potential clients or clients that you already have. So that that's why we would be producing those because um, you know we want to increase your sales and we want to help you promote new services or specials that you have going on that week or product that you're selling. Um, so that's kind of. Um, why it's important to make sure you're staying focused on the email content that you're sending because you can't just send something generic and expect something to come out of it, especially if, you know, um, that's what you're always doing. It pe People know it's going to be something you're sending out to thousands of other people at the same time. Yeah, and... And also, I know, I know with copywriter today, it's, when you're talking to your account manager, as soon as you mention the phrase email sequence, that's something we put a lot of effort and work into. But the whole process, like you mentioned, the original, the original email, simply saying thank you for your interest or thank you in your order. Or yeah. for your yeah. order. So there's a lot that goes into it. And, um, you know, mm -hmm. we can put together something pretty good for you that uh, works every step of the way. Yeah, definitely. So. Um, and then we also provide landing page content. I'm sure you've worked with that a little bit, Jeff. You want to talk about that? I've never seen that before, ever. Oh, you? Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> your your landing page with the content it ties directly into the lead magnet um normally either on social media or an email or on your website you have a link that can be clicked on in each that is used for promoting a product or service or using a lead magnet to get an email so at that that content you want to be very, very look at it and within a matter of seconds be able to know what's going on. Yeah. And you, yeah. people act on impulse. So you don't want them to sit there and have to read two minutes worth of content and have time to think about what they're doing. You want them to see what you're offering and right away click the go button. Yeah. So yeah. it's very important that your words count when you're when you're using the landing page yeah definitely yeah. you know you're you're limited but you also want to get your point across in um a quick and smooth fashion yeah it, regardless of uh regardless of how good the product or service you have is unless it's you're only focusing on your your local area you know no, no one's ever going to realize the product or service you have unless you've got effective content on your landing page that entices them to want to learn more, to want to experience mm -hmm. what you have to offer for themselves. Yeah, that's a good point because 
I mean, you could think your product is awesome. I mean, I would hope you'd think that or your service or anything along those lines. But nobody's going to know that for sure. I mean, you got to you got to sell that product, you know, you have to. Yeah. Be, and yeah. You know, normally with the landing page, there's investment money involved. Rather, it's. There are different programs you can use or whatnot. So it's not really something you want to play with and learn as you go. I mean, you want to have it on there. So uh, it helps to have somebody who knows what they're doing with it while they're creating the content. And that's, that's an area where we've got a specific team just for that because like said it's not like a blog post or an article where you want as many words as you can get you want it very short very to the point mm -hmm. it, like you're just having a conversation with somebody and you're in a hurry trying to get them to pick a package they want to buy so yeah, yeah. And, it, and it sounds like it would be something easy but obviously when it when it's your product or your service um sometimes it might be you know, kind of hard to do that because you want to get every detail in there as possible, but really you need to focus on, um, you know, the most important um, aspects that you should be focusing on, and then you can go into the details later. You know, you want you want to get them engaged. You want to get them interested. You want to get them on the phone. You want to, you know, just lead into that, and everything's going to fall, th you know, go through itself then. The rest is just kind of... You know, I mean, you got them interested. You got you got them responding. That is what that's what you want, and that's why it's it's not as easy as just writing up a, a quick paragraph or two. You know, um, no, that's just like not everyone's built for the life of the salesperson. Not everyone. I mean, when you're writing something like that, that's exactly what you're doing. You're being a salesperson, but you're doing with content and not a pitch you're speaking to somebody. So yeah, it's, exactly. Your landing page is, what do they call that? Your uh, elevator talk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, man, there's a specific elevator pitch. Elevator pitch. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yes. So you you know you you you're like the content on your landing page that's what it is it's your elevator pitch it's something yeah. you've got thirty seconds and the clock's running right now go yeah so. short sweet and to the point but you're but you're also you know not not leaving the most important and effective thing out that you know would attract your audience yep. <laughs> um. yep. <laughs> yep. I, All right. I just got a text message. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Life happens, man. I'm not popular. Yep. Mine's not going off. <laughs> uh, hey, trust me, that one was not from popularity. So. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. <laughs> um. So we we also produce press releases too, and um. And then white papers. Do you want to talk about uh, both of those on there, Jeff? Um, I actually, I don't think I've I've written a press release for anybody yet. I'm sure there's a specific. Obviously, there's probably specifically assigned people for those because those aren't those aren't easy. Those are kind of the short and sweet too. Um, a lot of the times, press releases will be one page long, and um, you know, there's there's a format to it. There's a a formula that you need to get down. Um, how do you get yeah. I'm rambling. Yeah. No, 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 no. In, in, in short, a press release is a, a press release is a writ, an official written statement. Be very, very specific, but also the goal is to be brief. And what mm -hmm. you want to do is you want to provide provide the general public with specific information an event that's happening with, or even just a new product or new service yeah. i mean you want to think about it i like to relate to it a lot um a movie trailer you know it's very short it's what a 30 second commercial and mm -hmm. it gives you specific information about this movie it's getting ready to come out 
Yeah. Well, press release yeah. is kind of the movie trailer for your business with every, anything you've got going on at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, hopefully, you never have to use one for a negative circumstance, but uh, it's just it's an officially written statement that provides direct information pertaining to a business or something going on. So yeah. uh, the words that are used are very important with this because it, like I said, you want it to be brief, mm-hmm. but it needs to be very specific. Yeah. So, and, and a lot of the times, you know, um, the press releases have to be immediate or, um, yes. you know, they're going to, they're going to need short turnaround times, which is why, you know, a lot of people come to us cause they're already, we get a lot of agencies and they're already with us already and we're already writing for them. And, um, you know, it's just easy for them to reach out to us and tell us to do the press releases. So that, you know, ties in with also if they're getting, you know, content for the blog or, you know, getting content for the clients, then that that also works as well in um, in the mix of their account. Yeah, and also, uh, you know, if a press release is, hopefully you're calling copywriter today, but any time you're calling a professional writing service and you need to get a, have a press release written, you know, normally with the blog post, or article you don't have to be real specific just what's mm-hmm. your target word count what's a keyword maybe a specific headline but when you're gonna have someone else especially if you are paying someone else to write a press release for you you want to give them as many specific details as you possibly can and yeah. let them do yeah. their job let them earn their money let them create the content mm-hmm. but the more specific you can be about details the more effective and yeah definitely um and then we also produce the white papers and like i said these are these are just a few of you know the the types of writing that we do aside from blog posts and articles so we could probably go on for you know yeah, at least an hour but but these are yeah, you know this, important this ones couple, that uh, we get a lot So, yeah, um, this, this is a couple of the more uncommon ones that not a whole lot of people are aware of what they are. Yeah, exactly. Or even assume that we would write those. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they just think we're known for writing articles or, you know, writing up blogs for people or reviews. Um, but aside from, like, other services, we, you know, specifically – attend to these as well based on people that we've had in the past and people that are still signed up with us. So you want to um, talk about white papers a lot. I actually get a lot of questions about a lot of people ask me if we do write yeah. white papers and we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair uh, enough. Uh, uh, white paper is normally a more lengthy article um, that uses both facts and logic to get a point across or to make a specific point. Um, There's a lot of research involved because I said it, there's logic that goes into it, but you also need to have facts, Mm -hmm. facts, numbers, statistics to back up what you're trying to say. Yeah. And it'll um, it'll generally back up. If I if I wanted to uh, <laughs> write an art, if I wanted to white paper on Chicago Cubs, I would bring up facts about the tenth inning in Game Seven against Cleveland Indians last year. I, what an I, inning! <laughs> I'd make sure those statistics were included. And then yeah, we know the Indians lost. Logic. <laughs> so. But uh, that's just one quick example. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm gonna. I should have given you an example to say. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that the the white papers would be um, specific to promote, you know, a, a service that you have or a product or any type of view that you're trying to get across as well. Yes, and uh, a lot of businesses will use white papers that. Well, 
not even businesses, a lot of non for profits to where the goal, the overall intention of the business is not to sell a product or serve. Don't get me wrong. You also use them if you have a product or service. But when your main goal and your agenda is simply to get a point across and to bring in, bring awareness to a matter, a white paper, a white paper is normally what you use to do that because it's so factual in the writing that goes into it. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. A lot of people will just come to us about white papers just for sales and marketing purposes. Um, like you said, to persuade you know, a customer to learn more about the product or to, you know, essentially buy the product. So that that's also a good point as well. You can use that in multiple fashions. Yeah. And um, each one's different. It's kind of hard to give a structure or an outline for a white paper, how we go about doing that, because that's all going to depend on the information you're wanting to push. Mm -hmm. So, you know, something that didn't have as many facts that could be brought up is going to be more logic and more examples of logic. Something with a large amount of factual evidence, obviously the majority of that white paper is going to be based on those facts and those statistics. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so so um, those are just a few of... Um, styles that we cover aside from articles and blogs and reviews. Um, but obviously if there's something that we didn't cover, cause like, like we said, it, this, um, this video would be, you know, at least an hour long and we'd go into depth about other things that we cover and what people ask. But if you're interested in something that we didn't cover, you can always go to copywritertoday.net and I'm in that little corner. If you go to the site, I'm on the little corner and you can just chat with me and ask me any questions. Um, also, you can just comment on this video and ask any questions related to this or if there's something we didn't talk about that you want to know if we cover, the answer is probably yes, but you can always just contact us anyways. Um, and like we said, if you're going to be doing that, then you'll be entered into our drawing to win the lead magnet that we'll be creating for you. So um, if you just want to go back and watch us and like it and share it, you'll be entered into that drawing and we'll be um, back here Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, we're kind of changing up the times a little bit, see what's better for you guys. So um, hopefully somebody, uh, well, some of these times work for somebody. So we're just kind of playing with that right now, but we'll be back here Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern. Anything else you want to add though, Jeff? Um, no, only that, you know, if, like I said, everybody is hearing a lot about email sequences and landing pages and an email list. If that's something you have an interest in, Friday is definitely a show you're going to want to, going to want to see. We're going to get into a lot of detail about that. So. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes, we are. Let's hope uh, we don't talk too much about it because. That's something we can also talk a lot about too. <laughs> yeah, well, it, uh, it's it's an it, important, especially if you're just starting out, or even if you're not starting out, or if if it's just you know email sequences aren't working for you, or you don't know how to um, effectively produce those. Um, like we said, you can't just like put those together and and expect that you'd be getting an increase in sales or an increase in leads. Yeah, and. Believe it or not, there's actually people that get paid for eight hours a day to sit and study what kind of emails are more effective. And uh, we're, we're going to go over some of that, and um, that that would be a boring job. <laughs> but I'm glad <laughs> someone does it because it, uh, it's yeah, all about Yeah, because now we know stuff. all about it. Yes. All yeah, I have somebody... to do is read a book, and I'm an email expert. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, so you guys will be learning from um, expert Jeff on Friday. So uh, don't miss that, guys. All right. Well, we'll just wrap this up, and um, we'll be seeing you back here. You think that's funny, don't you? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, <laughs> Sounds so ridiculous. Somebody's got the giggles today. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you back.
back here Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Yep. You guys See you have then. a good one. Bye. Bye.